Um, I think the, the quite a lot of stuff that other unions that you can do that you can find out about uh, NUS can help you with that um, and take a look at places like Birmingham and Leeds um, that, that do loads of exciting things um, particularly like sending out community guides to people who are moving out of holes and moving on um, and um, I think I think the biggest challenge uh, that's out there we've done some research that was funded by a local council that shows that like over two-thirds of people who aren't students have no idea about anything other than the financial contribution that students make um, uh, two-thirds of people just said they had no idea whether they whether students volunteered or fundraised or and I think if you can get people in the local community to understand the massive contribution that students actually make to local communities in terms of adding um, to, to them and building them as, as good places to live, I think that would be the biggest thing that would change the way that, that people perceive students in your local community and improve things. Okay. One more comment on community from the guy in the purple shirt here. And then if anybody would like to keep in touch with... Um, with Christopher afterwards about this community uh, issue, that would be good. Yeah, um, one of the things we're looking at at the moment is uh, actually trying to encourage clubs and societies to get involved in um, in helping out the community in ways. Um, one of the things we've got a society called Roots and Shoots, and they were they actually went out and um, cleaned up rivers, and things like that. So we're actually taking that to clubs and societies training, um, which happens next week, so that they know straight away that you know it's really really good to build a relationship with local community, and it helps the university and the union so that people don't hate